Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to uh, film this uh, short video to uh, kind of give a follow up and uh, a mention on the uh, trip that we just took. You know, we just took a couple of weeks off for an early summer vacation that we had planned. Where had, we had went down to the uh, Palm Harbor and uh, Clearwater, Florida areas. And then from there we went up to uh, St. Augustine and uh, visited that area for a few days. And then on the back, way back home, we had uh, stopped over at Fanning Springs and stayed there for a couple of days to uh, visit that area as well. So I've actually got several videos that's gonna be coming out on the channel of all of our trips and uh, a couple cooking videos and just some videos highlighting our trips at each location where we were at. So. Those are gonna be coming out, gotta work on those, but hopefully within the next one to two weeks, we'll have all those videos out for you to for you to see. But we made it back home, safe and sound, everything went well, and I am out here tending to the uh, the PK right now, and uh, Abby had to leave, we, we came back, and um, Abby had to leave to go on a business trip and uh, go have a meeting with uh, their big client for her company, uh, so she's gonna be gone for a few days, so I got the place to myself. I'm gonna be cooking some barbecue and it's time to get back over into the shop and uh, start getting back on my work out there. But I wanted to uh, share something else with you uh, that something I'm very excited about and I've been waiting for for a very long time. So I'm gonna flip your camera around so you can see what it is I'm talking about. Brand new eight foot privacy fence in the backyard here. I had them just take it to right here where my uh, garage is uh, because this is mainly just for privacy and also to help block off some of the uh, road noise out there. So to uh, save a little bit on cost because these eight footers get really expensive. I just had them go from the corner of the shop. They went past it about a foot and then all the way around to the uh, side of the house and then I've got some gates right there so I can you know this is where I like to park my little trailer at so and then still have access to the backyard if I ever have to pull my truck back here for whatever reason but I'm real happy with the uh, the way it looks it looks really nice and it is helping with the road noise on the other side right there I mean you're still gonna hear road noise you can hear it right now but it is gonna cut down on a lot of that road noise on the other side there and also give us some much needed privacy back here in my backyard when we're wanting to hang out back here and uh, just enjoy the patio do some cooking or whatever it is it's nice to be able to finally have this pretty fence to uh, look at back here you know i've always got really nice pretty green grass back here too uh, i don't do anything to this i just let mother nature do its thing and i keep it cut that's it <laughs> but uh, i wanted to share with you that because i've been waiting a very long time to uh i'm sorry i'm hot and i'm sweating but i've been waiting a long time to uh get that fence done and i've been wanting to have that done for many years now and i just put my efforts toward other things that i wanted that i felt was a little bit more important but i finally got to a place to where i really wanted to get a privacy fence up especially as much as i like using my back patio because i'm out here many many days out of the week cooking and grilling and i'm just tired of looking at traffic and i'm tired of the traffic looking at me over here so and i think all it's going to do is just kind of add to the value of the property in some way anyway you know so anyway there it is there's our new fence and um also wanted to mention about the new camera we're using the you know the gopro hero 8 now so i had uh, all of the videos that i took when we were, were on this two-week vacation here I was trying to use the wind setting as much as I can on the GoPro. The problem with the wind setting for the for the Hero 8 is that it makes it more of a muffled sound. So whenever you're watching those videos and you're complaining or you're, I won't say complain, but you're unhappy with the audio of the camera because I get a lot of emails from people telling me what I need to do to fix my audio. But the wind setting on the camera makes it sound more muffled but it does help in windy conditions because i figured that out by uh, looking at some of the uh, videos that i've already filmed when we were out there on the beach and things like that i can tell that the wind setting really does help on the camera but 
before we had left on that trip, I didn't have a chance to get my little windsock ordered for the camera. It wouldn't have been here in time. So I ordered it when I was gone. Now I've got it. So the camera now has the windsock on it. And this is what I'm talking about right here. This is one for my Hero 7. I actually bought another one for that, but this is all it is. You can get these off Amazon for 10 bucks and they're just a molded foam, I call them a sock, and they're cut out to fit the camera. And I got one of these on the Hero 8 and I'm looking forward to seeing how that one does because I know once I added this to the Hero 7 for the past couple of years, it's done really well on knocking out just regular wind noise when you're outside in places like this you know if we're off doing our adventures and i'm walking around and it's windy this thing right here does a really good job of blocking out the noise in the uh you know the speakers there on the camera so i just wanted to mention that we got that so uh i really like the way the eight is working i think it does uh, a really good job with the stability and the color the clarity of the videos look really good so I'm going to continue using that and then in the shop footage we're now going to be using the hero 7 with a rode mic hooked into it just like i did for the four so that was the two things i wanted to mention is our exciting new privacy fence back here i've got some extra i've got some extra led lights that i hung up right before we had left so i've got a total of three strands of these led lights out here just creates like a nice little ambiance and then when it gets dark out here this lights it up so that you can see out here as well all right and uh so i thought i'd show you what i'm doing for dinner tonight i am smoking me a couple of uh, chicken quarters i bought a bag of them so i'll be cooking these throughout the week i'll give you a peek of what it's looking like there's our two chicken quarters just using some lump charcoal and one piece of hickory wood there for our smoke and then once these get uh getting close to done i've got a little skillet here with the uh, potatoes onions peppers and some butter and then this is the seasoning i'm using right now this is on the chicken as well i got it from from the local butcher shop there smoky roasted garlic onion seasoning and also put a little bit in the veggies and i'm going to be cooking the corn too i've just been letting it soak in this uh, brine right here which is just water and salt and i'm getting ready to put that on the grill and uh that is going to be my dinner for tonight and then i got some more i'll be cooking throughout the week as well but i think that's about it for this little update uh, be looking for some of those other videos to come out in the next week or two of our adventures and uh, we had a great time really enjoyed our time off and uh, now we're going to be home for uh, probably a couple months before we may have any uh, we do have a big haul plan for later in the year but uh, we don't know how that's going to turn out depending on how this covid stuff is is uh, going to affect the whole country so we're just going to wait a little while before we make a decision on that uh, we do have one more trip planned to uh, Defuniac Springs this month, and that's for a family trip. My entire family is supposed to be going uh, for a, a birthday get-together. Uh, so I'm going to be going over for a weekend trip, Abby and I, and we're going to be camping over at Defuniac Springs. A uh, really nice campground over there, so I'll probably get a video of that as well. All right, so I think that's it. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you real soon, all right? Bye.